Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of the abugames.com feature match. I'm Derek Peterson. And I'm Jim Greaves. With abugames.com, uh, this week we have Jonathan returning yet again on the left uh, against Ethan on the right. Jonathan is once again playing his junk mid-range, while Ethan is trying the blue-white flash deck. Yeah, this blue-white flash deck is uh, pretty popular nowadays uh, over in GP Botram in Charleston. Yep, that did pretty well there. While uh, Jonathan, just on this continual roll, he's you know been in, at, I believe, three of our feature matches in a row. Um, you know, our, our F&M tournaments, there are some casual players, but, I mean, the, it's 30-man-plus tournaments, four rounds going undefeated to get into the finals each time, you know. Uh, as we do see, he did mulligan down to six. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Ethan's keeping a seven here. It looked kind of like a pretty loose keep, in my opinion. Yeah, we looked back at his hand. He had three island, two hollowed fountain, a uh, syncope, and a Zorius charm. Uh, so, I'm not sure if that's the best. But, I mean, he with that much land, he's going to want to draw into a bunch of spells. Yeah, he's got he's got definitely got cycles for his deck. In yeah, Jonathan's hand, he's going to start off with the turn one Arbor Elf here. It's a little acceleration. Yeah, I didn't get a good look at Jonathan's hand. Uh, I think I saw the Arbor Elf, the Force. I believe I saw a sever the Bloodline. Wasn't able to get a great view on everything else. So it looks like he's just getting in for one on Ethan, sending him down to 19. <laughs> and then uh, two Pilgrims. So fast start for uh, Jonathan on this Mold of Six in terms of mana. Yeah, let's see if he's got anything to accelerate into. Coming in for three. In for three, getting aggro with the one ones. Temple that. Garden? Yep, Temple Garden into play tap, passes the turn. Ethan and the turn is just gonna cycle. Let's see, Thought Scour off the top is gonna really help him here with that Snapcaster Mage he drew. Yeah, uh, he's got the Snapcaster. He has an unsummon. I don't think it's gonna be that great in this situation. Um, but the whole point, really, with the deck, kind of works like the old, the way the old Delver deck would, where you'd get a bunch of uh, instants or sorceries in your graveyards, and then you just equip up with a pike and swing for a bunch. Yeah, yeah. John's going to need for three more. I don't know. So, These uh, one ones aren't going to do him much good if that's all he has. It's like a far seek. He might best be reading that uh, Ethan has a counter spell. Yeah, looks like end of turn thought scour. He bends uh, restoration angel in an island. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying a Thought Scour. Uh, Restoration Angel in the Graveyard is actually not bad because he is playing uh, Morlin Haunt. Yes, yeah, so we will have a way of making uh, tokens. He does the second Thought Scour, bins Snapcaster, <laughs> an island, and then he drew another Thought Scour off the Thought Scour before binning a Dissipate and another Restoration Angel. So if he does draw Morlin Haunt, he'll be able to make tokens. Uh, if he draws the Pike, it'll be very strong as he draws a Restoration Angel. I think he might be thinking about using this uh, Restoration Angel to assassinate uh, one of these accelerators. Uh, possibly. Um, you know, he's got Snapcaster. He can Snapcaster, flash something back, then the next, uh, turn later you could Restoration Angel, Snapcaster. So, Jonathan looks like he's getting in again. No blocks. So Ethan goes down to 10. For playing a land, it looks like he's just going to ship the turn back. <laughs> the fourth the, the last Thought, Thought Scour. Uh, Thought Scour actually has a really uh, interesting interaction with Azorius Charm. You put their creature yeah. on top of the library and you get a millet. Yeah, uh, it's a definitely an interesting trick. If you get something really big you don't want to deal with, uh, you can just put it on top of their deck and then, like you said, Thought Scour it away. Yeah, so he chose the Snapcaster, Flashback, Thought Scour. He's got a grip here. Yeah. So he does play the fifth land. Definitely not uh, the flash deck. You're not going to want to throw a whole lot of stuff out main phase. It's a whole lot of instants, so you're just going to be defensive until you can really get in a couple of good swings. Yeah, I think the only sorcery speed thing he has is uh, Augur of Bolas. So looks like swinging in for three again is Jonathan. Yeah, I think he's going to Restoration Angel yeah. here. Blink in the Snapcaster, I'd imagine. Flashback a Thought Scour. Yeah, it's a very good play here. Yeah, that's what he does. Wins away two lands. So the sixth Thought Scour he's Ooh, cast. Looks like he did just take the damage. Goes down to seven. No blocks. Interesting play. Be afraid of giant growth or something? Uh, Possibly is Jonathan. I'm not sure if he, he really has an understanding of Jonathan's deck. Uh, Jonathan doesn't really have any main deck. Pump spells that you could use at instant speed. 
I'm probably missing something, and uh, Ethan's gonna make me look like an idiot later. <laughs> <laughs> Just lining up his graveyard at this point. Yeah, Ethan's, uh, Ethan likes to make him fight through his graveyard. <laughs> so, gets in with a Snapcaster Mage in the red zone. Like just takes it, goes to 18. So he, yeah, he's just got uh, Zorius Charm and uh, Syncopate, I yeah. think. Syncopate, the Odyssey is syncop uh, Syncopate, 7th uh, edition, Hunt Summon. Do see and Zorius Charm, just using it to draw a card. He's going to unsummon the snapcaster. snapcaster, recast the Snapcaster, flashback. Uh, I believe the Thought Scour here. He does. Ooh, Ooh he bins the pike. Bins the pike. Did not want to see that. Didn't get to see what he drew, though. Looks like he drew an Azorius Charm off the Thought Scour and then a Plains for the turn. Swings in for two more. So looks like Jonathan is on the 16. So he's really just sitting back using the Restoration Angel's defense right now. Uh, no reason to really get in until he can finish him off in a few turns. Well, at this point, Jonathan has drawn nothing but land. Uh, Definitely something. Oh, we do see he did draw an Oblivion Ring here. Uh, obviously, going to go after the Restoration Angel. And yeah, see, so he's got uh, what f uh, four, five, eight mana available to him. Uh, yeah, I'm counting five mana. So we're going to see uh, Zorius Charm to draw a card. Yeah, looking for a dissipate here. <laughs> rewind. <laughs> Just draw the rewind naturally off of the cycle. That was pretty key. So getting in again with the Snapcaster Mage. Definitely a, a grindy situation here for both players. This looks like just two more since Jonathan down to 14. Jonathan really needs to draw some of his really strong... Uh, he probably feels that Ethan has counter magic in hand. Yeah, I mean, he's drawn half his deck by now, at least. Um, so he knows he's going to need to land something to stay in this game. That looks like no such luck. Uh, double attack here? This uh, Bloody Flash deck is meant to be a tempo deck, but it, uh, as you can see, it can go pretty late if it wants to. Well, especially if your opponent draws a bunch of land. Oh, well, that's pretty good, too. Uh, well, I'm not sure what's in his hand. He'd be definitely so holding something. Swings for five. Looks like no blocks, so sends Jonathan down to nine. Uh, looking at Ethan's hand, he's got another Restoration Angel, so is the Unsummon, Syncopate. Uh, Jonathan attempts to throw down a Thrag Tusk. Looks like Restoration Angel. It's gonna probably Lincoln. hit the rewind. Yep. Uh, or maybe dissipate. I feel like there's no reason to not do rewind. I believe he's gonna. Yeah, he'll just flash back the rewind. <laughs> Cast another Thrag Tusk that was in his hand. I think he can just syncopate this. Uh, he's got two available, so yeah, he can syncopate for three and it'll be countered. So like I was saying, Jonathan figured he probably had counter magic, but knew he needed a fight through to land something. Yeah, he definitely needed uh, something there. Uh, unfortunately for Jonathan, wasn't able to do it. At this point, he is at 9 life. Uh, looks like the angels can kill him in 2 cracks. Yeah, he's got another rewind in his hand. So... So at this point, Ethan just trying to size up how much he has the game on lockdown. Swings in for six. Yeah. And that will not save him, so... Uh, <laughs> Ethan's going to take this game. Uh, very good use of Restoration Angel and Snapcaster Mage. Uh, some good drawing on Ethan's part. Drawing, uh, Getting to get four Thought Scours. Unfortunately, Jonathan was able to draw all land. I know he's going to want to change that in the next game. We'll be right back.